Hi there, and welcome to the first match in the TV podcast, John League. I'm Matteo Sin Jones, one of the hosts. You might recognise my name if you listen to the podcast. If not, give it a listen. Playing a deck I completely stole. This isn't a very good hand. Um, from Mangucci off his Instagram. Playing against Brando Calrissian from the uh, Discord server, which you should join. Uh, I think Brando Cal... Brando? Brand, Bra- Brando Calrissian. I, th- I think that's a S- Star Trek reference. Probably an Uruk High or something. I don't know. I, I don't really follow the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so... Green White versus Black Red. The classic... The classic match of magic. He's probably playing blue as well. Probably filled to the yeah, it's probably a field of the dead deck, isn't it? They always are. There we go. All the colours on the table. As of now. Except he's got four of them. Um I guess I'll play that. Completely irrelevant monster. So this is the first time I've ever played this deck, obviously, because I don't play standard. But hey, a league's a league. If you don't know about this, we're doing leagues. Uh, Watsy has kindly given us 20... No, yeah, 20,000 gems um, to give out and play with, which translates to about $200 worth of stuff. I think hundred. I think 10,000 gems is, about, is $100 in the store, and that's like the best value you can get. Um... I don't know which of these to play. They don't really kill. Yeah, they do have a time wipe and stuff, don't they? So let's make a monster that doesn't do anything. I don't tax into that. So yeah, I've never played this deck before. I've played a couple of best of ones before this. Seems pretty fun. Um, it's Aristocrats Sony because it has four cats in it, I think. Classic Disney film, Aristocats. No, it's named after... It's been a deck, sacrifice deck for a while. And there was an internet joke about the aristocrats or something? I don't know. No, it used to play a vampire aristocrat. But then it was also around the same time that there was that weird internet joke where you'd tell a ridiculously long story and the punchline was, um, I'm not going to win this, am I? <laughs> the punchline was uh, aristocrats, basically. I think I need to kill that Golos Tylus Pilgrim, but I think main deck I have one way of killing it, which is uh, Murderous Rider. Yeah, at least they didn't hit anything. Uh, what does that do? That's, that's something, that's something, but I do draw a lot of cards if they do that, so that's actually not too bad. Go on, hit me. I've got this. Hit me. Um, why don't I start by making them sacrifice a monster? Probably because it doesn't do anything, I guess. I just might as well use my mana. I think I'll just play this in case they do want a time wipe. Not time wipe, round cloaked gigante. Um, and then just... Oh no, sacrifice an artifact, of course! I'm an idiot. I could... See, I've never played this deck before. <laughs> in my mind, on Grath Rampage, it's an edict. <laughs> yeah. It also kills artifacts. And that's probably why it's playing it. Probably. Just just a guess. Just a guess. That's a big monster. Yeah, this is a risk cross decorative call. It basically revolves around sacrificing stuff. I don't know if it can deal with Field of the Dead once it's active, but we'll see. I'm about to draw a bunch of cards. I'm about to draw three cards just at the end of the turn. So, who knows? Let's get this ball rolling. Um, Hydroid Crisis quite nicely gets stolen by um, Firstborn, whatever it's called. Steal the Firstborn. There we go. Claim the Firstborn. So, they're about to take some damage, although it doesn't trample, so they'll probably just chuck a... Oh, it does trample. See, I don't know what the cards do. I don't play standard. Let's... Claim that firstborn. First things first. You are now mine. Oh, that's sacrifice another black creature. Again, I should probably read my cards. 
hopefully off this enforcer sacrifice <laughs> I draw um hopefully I draw hopefully I draw something else to sacrifice is like a witch's oven or a um mask bang 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 okay that's not too bad um does that deck play counter spells? I actually don't know. Pay two life. Well, I'm going to kill it now because it's in my control, and that means I draw cards off um, Murder's Rider. Uh, off of Midnight Reaper, sorry. So, yeah, I'll kill it now before it goes back. Bash Bosh. Then I should probably start gaining life at some point, too, because I might just kill myself. What I might do is block. If they start attacking with zombies, I might just, yeah, here we go, I might just block. So I'll gain four life there. Sorry, lose four life and take two, so I lose six. Um, and then that giant's not just going to straight up kill me, which is obviously a bonus. You're dead. <laughs> Your fields are dead. This is, yeah, a lot of zombies, which I don't know if I can hold off, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Circuitous route. A ton of zombies, the actual metric ton of zombies. I don't know what units you would normally measure a zombie in, but that's a lot of, at least I have a bunch of cats. Right now. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. So I think... Uh, no, I was going to say Midnight Reaper's a liability, but it's not actually that much of a liability because these are all... The cats are all gaining me two life. So, like, first of all, I'll do that, I think. No, I do want to attack because... Uh, no, I'll start, I'll start... I'll give myself a bit more info first. Let's, let's light up the stage. Light up, light up. Hmm. So, ah, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered to think about it. So I'm just going to attack with this and get some stuff off the board because my hand's getting too big, to be honest. And I just can't, can't deal with the stress. Okay, so they didn't take that bait, let's call it. Um, let's start with a Mayhem Devil, I think. Then, yes, please sacrifice that, the Swamp. Uh, let's kill one of those for now. I don't think I can deal with lethal this turn, so... Uh, make another cat. And then I think I just do this, probably. Yes, sacrifice that. And finish off that zombie. Feels quite weak, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, right, gets a bit of scariness off the board. Kenrith, oh jeez, I can't bother to read that, it does. <laughs> it does a lot of things. All creatures gain haste, trample and haste. Does that kill me? I don't know. Uh, I'm probably dead, probably dead. No. Can I do anything here? No. No. I'm dead. Well, that was fun. Oh, yeah, okay. You pump stuff as well. Don't okay, care. I should probably read what that does at some point. Someone tell me what it does. I should have looked it up. Uh, right, what do I want? Oh, God. Uh, don't know, 
of green or white. Well, it seems good against Kenrith, but is it good against an army of zombies? Not really. Uh, that's good against an army of zombies, I suppose. Yeah. But is it? Do I, do I actually want to be? Okay, well, I'm putting four of those in, I think. I think I did. This is what happens when you don't play. Um, so, they don't have many, I mean, I stole the Hydra of Crisis in that game, and that was cute, but do I really want that? Not really. As well, I, I don't really need that. Do I need that? No, I kind of do need that Bedevil, because it does still kill, it does kill Coloss. Um, Chandra seems decent. Like all the one drops, I don't really want to get rid of. I could probably get rid of like an oven. I could probably get rid of mass because that yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot. Um, especially if I'm getting rid of the claim the firstborns. Uh, Reaper just seems good. I feel like I don't want to remove Reaper. Murder's Rider's quite narrow against that deck. I suppose a Yara feels like a combo piece. I don't even want to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, probably Kang just get rid of that Bedevil. Maybe like a couple of Flame Sweets. Do I want this? I don't think I. Want to play Theatre of Horrors because it's not like they're just winning the late game. I can't try and outpower a field of the dead deck, I don't think. But if I'm playing that, like, oh, actually, that's not great, is it? Yeah, so Priest, okay, so Priest can come out. Okay. I don't think that's great. Probably want to play Chandra, actually. I feel like Chandra's got use. Maybe I do just want to try that. Like one flame sweep, just get them. Get them. Because I kind of want to be the aggro deck, so I don't want to have a handful of flame sweeps. Does that seem. Is this stupid? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the. Tell me somehow. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Yeah, take out another no, 60 cards. Let's try that. Let's try that. I'm going to put more flame sweeps in on the draw. I don't think our first game was great. My hand wasn't great at all. So I want to play first. That's a faux chisel. His hand's poo. Should have taken that witch of the oven. That's, um, that's the uh, magic deity he's telling me. That's, that's the Theros god saying. Should have taken out a witch's oven. He's mulligan. That's what you want. Mm, I guess I don't need to duress just yet. So let's play an oven to start with. And let's start duressing now. See what you got. Uh, do I care about time wipe? Not really. I feel like Securitas Root is. Yeah, I can play around time wipe, can't I? And let's just pop that for a mountain. I feel like against this deck, I eh, cut of bones would be not on to turn one. I just want to stop them doing their big stuff if I can. Is that right? I don't know. Securitas route obviously gets them to get their big stuff a lot quicker. Or it's just a time wipe I can play around quite easily. Yeah. Okay, well that's gonna bash there. And I'll probably play both of these. So time wipe can't happen just yet, but even if it did, I don't think that would be a terrible play either way. Okay, so I'm not sure if I should sacrifice here because I could theoretically sacrifice and get a food out of it and one damage, but then I lose the one damage from gutter, but no, I don't think I want to do that. Maybe I do. I think maybe I do because then witches have an untaps as well, so I get like more value out of that. If I draw a land, I think if I draw a land, it's a bad play, and if I do, I just not or something like that now. I'm about to think about it. There we go. I think that makes it a fine play because I've got another witch's oven now. So I don't necessarily need to 
sacrifice a bunch of witches' ovens, basically. Uh, sorry, sacrifice a bunch of creatures. Oh, free pings, free pings. That's the kind of thing that I would never notice in real life. So thank you, Arena. Yeah, that's the planes. What you got? Nothing. Good. That's what I like to hear. And then, so I think I sacrifice this. Ping for one. Replay it. Make the other witch's oven. Okay, that was a count spell for a moment. Scared. And pass the turn. I think that's right. I don't think I lost any damage that way. In fact, I think I gained the damage because the butter, but the butter, the butter gones actually attacked. Okay, so Colossus is fine. I might actually have lethal next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not quite. I think I'm one off lethal. No, because I can sacrifice the food as well. Yeah, I think I have lethal next turn. I think I. Oh no, because I'm gaining a life. How frustrating. But can they come back from one? I don't think they can. Ooh! Does that make a difference? No, I don't think so because it uses my mana up. All right, well, that's definitely the, gonna be the first play. Tag race, tag race, creature. Bingo for one. Then attack for a lot of damage. Bash, bash, bash. And sadly pass with them at four. So yeah, I could have gone sack, sack, sack two creatures and the food, which I now have to do, obviously. So first of all that, but I think I still win next turn, so that's fine. Ping there. Sacrifice of food. So I'm gonna have a fly out and also a gutter bones. And they only have one on tap land now. Mayhem Devil does trigger off itself quite nicely. Feels like it shouldn't intuitively, but it does. And then that makes a creature, they're on one life. Fingers crossed. Get him. Yeah, that's fine. Even though they play like Forest Arboreal Grazer, they're dead. Because I have a cauldron familiar. Good. 1-1. One, one. Evens it up. See again, like, do I want Flame Sweep? It feels like Flame Sweep would be good against zombies, but at the point where they're making a bunch of zombies, have I just lost anyway? I don't think I do want Flame Sweep. But then what do I want out of all these crappy cards? Not really anything. Like maybe just the Murderous Rider as extra Golos protection, but then I've already got one, two, three. No, how many ways do I have killing it? Not actually that many, okay. No, I don't want my curve to be too high. I guess I can play. I mean, if I'm gonna play that, I might as well just play that because I don't think they have anything useful that they don't. Do they have planeswalkers that they don't play Oko, do they? Don't think so. Uh. I just feel like I have a very clunky deck here. And like, I really don't want all of these three drops. But then the things I'm considering are also three drops. So I'm wondering if I like cut a Midnight Reaper for a, I don't know, Mask? That just feels awkward. But then Mask is just a creature that can like randomly activate, light up the stage and stuff. Yeah, do that, I guess. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Oh, 60 cards. What am I I thought I replaced one card for one card. Okay, well, I guess I'll put Midnight Reaper back in. Oh, no, because I took out Flame Sweep, didn't I? Um, yeah, I'll do. I imagine my opponent is thinking, why the... Is he taking so long to decide? I don't know what I'm doing. I 
Ricky, don't. Good hand. It's not the best, it's also not the worst. Uh, yeah, keep that. It's good, because if my opponent makes an arboreal grazer... No, 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 I'm an idiot. Uh, I probably should have played the oven there, because I was about to say, even if my opponent makes an arboreal grazer... Glazer? Grazer? Making those windows. I can still light up the stage, but because I played the cat and not the oven, that's not true. There we go. I'm an idiot. To be in my defence, I did think I was playing the oven. <laughs> I just randomly clicked a one drop in my hand. Uh, yeah, I should have played the oven. It doesn't matter too much. Does it matter? Probably. Oh wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> so this is how the deck works. Aha, uh -huh, so... Oh, I've just seen a synergy. I have discovered a synergy. I don't imagine Mengucci even realised this when he built the deck. But if I sacrifice this... Uh, let's bear with. Bear with, make a food. Sacrifice the food, put it back into play. Uh -huh. See what I did there? Light up, light up. Boom, synergy. What do I get? An oven and a duress, that's not bad, you know. That's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. Do I care about that? No, not at all, mate. Not at all. all right, well, I'll use this now, see what you got. Um, yeah, again, I guess I just want to get rid of that. Do I worry about those? I probably should, shouldn't I? But I ain't got time for that right now. Um, see if they block. Hopefully not. Boom. Don't block. Cat on cat action. It says beast, but it looks a bit cat-like to me. Cat monkey. Uh, I guess I play that. And I guess I play the other one. Yeah, no reason not to. And pass. Then I start comboing with my ovens and step. The slow burn. Yeah, fine. Yep, yeah, also fine. Would have done it in my turn, if I'm honest, because you can play sorceries at instant speed, but you do you. Oh, there we go. That's why you didn't. <laughs> That's why you're doing you. Uh, sacrifice that. Let's get the party rolling. Oh, no, not like that. I want you to come into play. Sorry, enter the battlefield. This is an incredibly tedious combo. The world's slowest grape shot. And you can come back. Actually, is it worth bringing you back now? Because you're not going to attack, are you? No, I don't need to come back now. Let's wait till my turn. Give myself a bit more info. Hmm. Yeah, stone nothing. So I guess I will do this. And do this. And pass the turn. That is clever, which is oven and cat, you know? That's clever. Well done. Meow! Jump out. There you go. You can be on blocking duty today, little cat. There you go. Little fella. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. I forgot to sacrifice it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I forgot to sacrifice it. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh, that should have hit Teferi as well. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this game. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you kill everything? Kill everything. See if I care. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, okay, well, let's get the cat back now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Go on then. You're on blocking duty again. And I'll sacrifice it. This league, by the way. Have I mentioned? 10,000 gems on the line. There's 20,000 in total, but we're going to do two. I think top two will get 10,000 gems, plus TV podcast goodies. So lots of reasons to join the next one. Too late to join this one, but lots of reasons to follow this one. If you like this kind of thing, follow us on Twitter and Discord and go to the website, tbpodcast.com. Um, because, yeah, lots of cool things to be one playing magic is generally fun when you know how to do it I mean I'm not really enjoying this but you know if you do know what you're doing it, it can be fun so I want to play that so I think I'll start by sacrificing this and then bring it back And then that is now active. And I don't need to do anything just yet. Because I might, if things are really pear shaped, I might just want to draw a card and lose a bunch of life. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll end the turn for now. Let's this route. That's fine. That's an instant. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had that in your hand. I'm not winning this game. I don't think I, I mean, I did mess up, but I don't think that would have made the slightest difference. Yeah. What I don't like about Arena is it has a little lag between the, uh, you doing your thing and triggers. Yeah, what I really need now is Flame Sweep. I'm an idiot. Um, so it looks like they've forgotten the triggers or something, but actually, Arena's just teasing. It's a massive tease, right? So I guess I just sacrifice that. Make a food. About to take 14 damage, no, 12 damage. Guess I might as well take 14 there. There's no point just chomping a zombie. Like, I really don't know what I could draw here, but whatever. <laughs> There's like a very small chance that if I somehow draw something insane next turn, I can like start burning them out, but I can't, I really can't think what that could be in this deck. Like it's probably better to just kill Teferi. But then, nah, Teferi's not doing much at this point. I'm going to be dead before it activates next anyway, in a relevant way. So, again, I don't really need to do that right now. I think activating that's a bit risky, so I'm just going to go hit the face. Bad as it seems. Okay. Well, that's a bunch of lands, and I'm probably dead next turn. So, if I make that sacrifice food, sure. That's not in play. Might need to 
gain a bunch of life off my food next turn rather than bring the cat back, but I don't think that's a problem necessarily. It's only a triple block. Yeah, it's fine. Triple block, gain six. They lose a giant. I lose everything, including game. That puts me on ten. Oh, so I only need to actually sacrifice one of the foods now. So that's not too bad. So yeah, let's do that. And then sacrifice that for some life. Then I go to one. Giant dies, but who cares? They probably got another land to make 400 more zombies. Yeah, there we go. And I forgot to sacrifice a creature again because I'm absolute idiot. They're just making a 7-7. Seven, seven. Can't even... No, I can't even do this. I don't know why it's giving me the option. Uh, I'm very bad at this game. Oops. Oopsie. Need a miracle. Like a flame sweep that I don't have in my deck. Yeah. A good a game. Boom. Match one done, and I'm a mat down. Can still win though, just need to win the rest. I think it's like top three or four from each group, go through. But we'll see. I'll be back next week with my next match. Thanks for watching. See ya.